In downtown Johannesburg, Thursday nights are known as Lagos nights, especially when Nigerian Afrobeat artist Femi Koya takes to the stage. Koya says his style of music brings together sounds from different parts of the continent and at the same time pays homage to the great hits. Take a look. <laughs> Babalawo is one of the songs from South African-based Nigerian artist Femi Koya. It is a song about storytellers and their roles in preserving Africa's cultures. Koya says the single from his April-released album, Village Afrobeat, was inspired by his own experiences growing up. His style is a contemporary mix of jazz, Afrobeat and West African highlife music. Uh, village Afro bit for me is taking sound and uh, from 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 the old times because you hear songs like Baba Lawo Mowa Bebe. This is what I grew up with. Um, when you go to the village, you will hear stories about the tortoise. Uh, in South Africa, they say tortoise <laughs> about the tortoise and, and and you know the town crier. You hear stories about uh, the village men and village women. You know there's a whole lot of life lessons around the stories. So I took them and put them on Afrobeat. And then I composed other songs around them, composed music, put them together. His debut album, Just in New Town, was also inspired by Johannesburg's cultural hub, New Town. Choir says not enough is being done to export distinct African genres. Music like the Fuji music, the Juju music, these are supposed to be our export, Afrobeat. These are supposed to be the things that, this is, well, I would say they are our traditional music. But it doesn't go nowhere. You know, people, they settle on the, on the little platform. So for me, I deem it fit. Afrobeat highlight for me must go international. At home, his band prepares for their next show. They're all from different backgrounds, something Koya says is key to creating a sound that transcends borders. My band is made up of um, guys from all African countries. It's not just Nigerians or South Africans. You know, we have DRC, we have Ghanaians. So, so all those guys put together, they come with their own um, um, national sound. They come with their own sound from their country and the way they speak their language. They interpret the music when I put it down. So it makes, it just brings it together. There's a, there's a synergy there that, that makes the music beautiful. Koya came to South Africa in 2005, carrying with him a strong musical influence, but with a curiosity and ability to sample the deep musical culture of his new home. I really love Femi Koya's music because it connects me with my roots. Um, it reminds me of uh, the likes of Fela Koti, uh, Femi Koti, the likes also of uh, Orlando Julius, of which uh, uh, it's really cool. Uh, I really love his music mostly. There's a popular song I love, it's called Lerato which also means in South African uh, language, love, it's, it sings about love, it's also very beautiful. Koya has performed alongside stars like Yusundu, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, King Sonny Ajay and Oliva Tsukudi, among others. And that's it on Network Africa. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tim Meetup with Agwebi.